Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we're going to add a table here in this white space that's left and that is going to show us the high, medium and low pre, post difference and percentage difference values. So just a mirror image of this but related to these higher level groupings. So let's start by doing the same thing as, we do, as we've already covered for these and that is creating a, um, a separate table with a list of values that we can use as this common index or I would say common index it's really just a, a, a common field between the pre and post um, mitigation values so I'm going to go and enter data and we're going to call this one here risk group sort and you'll see why I use this in a second and we're going to call this one risk group and the risk group sort is going to be 1, and then the risk group has got to be the same as the risk group here, so it's 1, high, 2, and so it'll be 2, medium, and 3, and then we'll do 3, low. And then we'll just call this one here risk groups, and we can load that in. So that's just got our common, and then we're going to create the relationships. So remember, we're going to use the post mitigation. Um, we use the post mitigation one, the um, relationship to the risk ranking as the main one or the active one. So I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to do the post mitigation risk group, which is this one here, post mitigation risk group, and we'll just link that up to the risk group. And then we're going to do the pre-mitigation risk group as being the the inactive relationship that we're going to activate during a, through a measure or whenever we in, invoke a measure. Right, I'll just leave that there for just now. Okay, so that is the first thing we need to do. The next thing we need to do is copy this because it will copy some of the formatting, not all of it, but it will get, be a, a good starting point. Make it a lot smaller and what we need to do here is just change some of the values. Okay, so the first thing we need to obviously is we're going to change this risk group here. Um, and we're going to change that to be, oh, let's just give ourselves a little bit of space here. Move up to the top. There we go, risk group. We're going to use that, we're going to change that to be the common risk group. And we'll get rid of that. And we can see that's been high, medium, and low. The pre value we need to change. The post value will be the same. That's fine. Okay, so we'll get rid of all of these. Okay, so we can see here that that's, that post mitigation value is just going to be exactly the same as we used before, a count of the number of work orders, because we've already got that link through the active relationship to this risk groupings. Right, so next we need to go and create a measure. So let's just click on here and we're going to go and create a measure and this is going to be a measure that's going to count the number of work orders pre-mitigation okay so we're going to use the same template as we did before the only difference is the relationship we're going to we're going to use to to go and um, determine the the count of the work orders is going to be the um, the relationship between the risk group and the work order risk group pre-mitigation. Okay, so that's the only difference. We're going to count the number of rows and we're going to use this relationship here. So we're going to count the number of rows for high, which have got a risk group pre-mitigation and medium, etc., etc. Okay, so that's how we're going to aggregate, aggregate these values by this pre-mitigation group. So once we've done that, we can pull that into here and we'll change this to Pre. and let's just check out so 24 1 2 that's 20 and then that's 24 yeah so that's a pre mitigation number that's a post mitigation number uh, right so now let's go and do a difference between the two of them so we'll get another measure in here it's exactly the same as it was before so we're going to go and just look at the difference between the pre-mitigation and the post-mitigation. 
So we can paste that into there. Uh, that one is actually going to be current week. So we're going to look at the difference between the work order count current week, which is the post mitigation, minus the work order count pre mitigation. And that gives us the the values that we need for. Uh, oh yeah, it's got a massive title here, so that's why it is diff. Okay, minus twenty two. Uh, minus 189 and plus 211. That all looks pretty, pretty close and pretty good. Well, pretty, pretty close is not good enough. It's actually it looks spot on. And then we are looking at the percentage difference. So let's go and add another, another measure in here. And again, exactly the same as before. We're going to go in and it's just going to be the difference divided by the original number, pre-mitigation number. So it's all the same as before and we can add that in and change the value to be uh, diff percent. There we go. Now we need to change this to be a percentage and again we'll reduce the number of decimal places so just a little bit of administration there. Click on here, we'll stick that to zero and we'll add this as being a percentage and that should sort that out. There we go, perfect. Uh, next we're going to do the conditional formatting. So we're going to go in and click on here, go to conditional formatting, risk group and it's a background. Now this is another reason why we've got this sort. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to use some rules and based on field, you know, the field we're going to base it on is actually going to be the sort rather than the actual grouping itself because it needs to be a number. This value here needs to be a number. So if the value is, and then we can just do is one, then we know that that is high and that should be red. New rule. If the value is two, then that is going to be the yellow colour. So these are still there from the last time, so it's handy. Is three, then we know it's going to be that green colour, which is that shade of green there. That never worked particularly well. Uh, okay. I know exactly what happened. I've left that at count, so it needs to be sum. This group sort sum, that should work. Perfect. Okay, so count was basically counting each one of these, and each one of these was one, because there was only one risk group value in each one of these rows, and that's why it was all red. Okay, so just a little note there to, to remember to change that to sum, or max, uh, or min even. Okay, so next we'll put in the, give ourselves a bit of space here. And we're going to go and add in the bars. So we'll go in here and we'll look at percentage difference. Go to bars. And we're going to change that values. Everything else is the same. We're just going to change this value here to be, the, I think it was that one, was it? That grey colour there. We'll soon find out. It was either that one or the one below it. The axis we'll put is white. And, yep, that looks as if it's the same colour as above there, yep. And we'll just kind of tidy that up a little bit. But here we go, we've pretty much got what we need out of this one here. So we can see here for this one, let's just make that slightly smaller. I probably need to just move that in a little bit. And make that one slightly bigger. I'm just trying to align these so it just looks as if it's um, a little bit neater and a little bit more aligned. Uh, anyway, we could play about this for a while, but let's just um, yeah. Okay, so you can see, but you can see, you get the idea. We've got the graph there, and we need to change the title. This one can pre and post, 
Um, it'll be risk grouping. So risk group pre and post. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this um, this one here. In the next lesson, we will go and just have a quick tidy up and put a few cards along the top here just to give us some summary headline figures. And I will talk to you then.